Good morning, my name is Kay Daniels, and I welcome you today to today's um, What Spiritual Today broadcast. I believe that today God is going to do you well. We're going to be continuing on what I started, Rediscover Yourself. This is part two, and I want to believe that God is going to do us great, even like never before today. Last, you know, the last time we, you know, looked at God, you know, saying, let there be a light, and there was light. Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1, we, we, we were reading, and we got to chapter to verse 19. You know, and we said, and the evening and the morning, we are the fourth day. And I began to speak there concerning the fourth day being the 4,000th year, human year, you know, um, the Bible says one day, 1,000 years is like a day before God. So we can safely say that four days was 4,000 years. And in the fourth day, God created the lights, the lights. God created the lights. The lights came on the scene on the fourth day, on the fourth day. So, and if you look at the light, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and he showed up on the 4,000th year. 4,000. Because whether we like it or not, we are today in the 6,000 years. 6,000 biblical or scriptural year. Because Jesus safely came 2,000 years ago. So we are in the sixth day, as it were. The sixth day. Now let's continue um, uh, what we were saying. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly, you know, the moving creature that, you know, has life and fowl that they may, you know, they may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great wills and every living creature that moved which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and their winged fowl after his kind and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, say, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let Fowl, let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. The fifth day was the age of the creation of all kinds of um, sea creatures, sea and air creatures. So the sea and the air brought forth all kinds of creatures. That is God created the great wills and living creature that moved which the waters brought forth abundantly. The waters brought forth. And if you look at the waters, we have the waters underneath the firmament and we have the waters above the firmament. So the waters above the firmament, firmament brought forth the, the, the birds of the earth brought forth the flying creatures, while the waters beneath brought forth the whales, the fishes, the, you know, the, you know, uh, the creatures, the, you know, the marine forces. All of them all came from waters. Only that some came from the waters above. And some came from the waters beneath. Praise God. I say, praise the Lord, you know, and that is why we have the birds and we have the fishes. The fishes swim, the birds fly, based on where they are from. Some came from the waters above, while others came from the waters beneath. Praise God. So whether you are from the waters beneath, you swim, or you are from the waters above, you fly. But let's continue. 
Verse 24 says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after his kind. Cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after their kind. And cattle after their kind, and everything which creepeth upon the earth after their kind. And God saw that it was good. That was on a particular day. On a particular day, He created the living creatures, all the animals, all the beasts, everything, the serpent, every one of them. He created them on the same day. On a particular day, I mean, and then he now said, If you look at it, he spoke to the earth, and the earth brought forth these creatures. The earth. So, to get rid of these creatures, you must get rid of the earth. Mm. Because the earth is the source and the sustaining power of these, you know, creatures. But on that same particular day, see what happened. And God said to his associates, let me say that. And he said, let us make man in our own image. He has been speaking to things. And those things, those sources have been bringing forth creatures. Now he's saying, let us make man let us make man in our own image now we've created everything now we've made everything available but we need a manager we need someone that will manage all these things we've created from the first day to the fifth day so we need managers we need earth managers we need dominating forces on the face of the earth that we manage what is above the firmament what is beneath the firmament and what is on the earth three realms marakata prokotus dialia rete susalia he 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 needed a manager he needed beings that we manage the three realms. And he knew that whatever we manage these things must have the same nature as him because it is only the one that creates that can manage effectively. So what are we talking about? And God said, let, you know, let us make man in our own image. In our own likeness and let them have dominion let them have dominion over these three realms <laughs> over the flying objects over the crawling or creeping of swimming objects over the earth everything over these three realms let them have dominion that was the pronouncement from the mouth of the Almighty God. That this is my intent for wanting to create man on the face of the earth. Let him be an agent of dominion. Let him be like us on the, the way we are in the eternal realms. Let him be on the earth. Makabu shalabadialos. They say, over the fish, over the realm above the firmament of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, still talking about, you know, above there. And he said, over the fish of the sea, 
that's below the firmament and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the face of the earth. So the earth above the firmament, below the firmament, this being to be created should be in control, should be in charge, should take control, should take charge. Praise God. He said, so God created man in his own image and in the image of God created him male and female created him so God created the man like unto himself and now created two vessels to put this man in so whether you're male or female you have a man in you there's a man that was created for dominion in the male and there's a man created for dominion in the female marisha dusi brakaba but the intent is well specified to have dominion upon the face of the earth to have dominion to have dominion and whether you like if you if you understand scriptures properly or from, if, you, if you followed what i've been reading you will see that on the okay let's continue verse 28 and god blessed them and god said unto them be fruitful multiply replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish over the realm above the firmament above over the realm below the firmament and over the fall of the air the ones above the firmament and over every living thing that moves upon the face of the earth and over the one captured in between the firmaments. Maru Shadiano Sidi Nayama Kasi Kideaba Maraba. That is the land. The land. Half dominion over these three realms. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is on the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of three yielding seed to you it shall be for food and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth on the face of the earth wherein there is life i have given every green herb for meat and it was so. See the things he placed in man's hands. He put man absolutely in charge. Absolutely in charge. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was not just good. It was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. The sixth day, the six thousand year, the year that we are in, the age that we are in is the age of not just creation of man, not just the creation of the beasts, the formation of the beasts and the animals and the, you know, All the things that flies and swims and creeps on the earth. It was also the age of the creation of man and transferring unto him dominion. 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 
He gave man dominion on the sixth day. So we are in the age, the era of dominion. It is good for every one of us to have an understanding of why we are here on the earth. We are here to take dominion. We are here to dominate the things God had created. The sixth day. I will still be coming to you again. But today I want you to just think on these things. Ruminate on them. Meditate on them. On the juice of the word of God comes into you. The life transmitting power of God. Until I come again. Until I come again to you on another podcast. Remain blessed today. As you step out into victory. I remain K. Daniels, and this is what spiration.